Commissioner Greg Sankey. Gave a state of the SEC speech, of course. He did discuss the playoff. He said that 12-team, six-automatic bid deal that he described as a really good balancing outcome. Nice compromise he threw out there. He said uh, once it got rejected in January by the Alliance, the Big Ten ACC Pac-12, if we are going to be- go back to square one, then we are going to take a step back from the model that was introduced and rethink the approach. And he mentioned this. We'll consider the number of teams. Whether there should be any guarantee for conference champions at all. Just earn your way in. There is something healthy competitively about that and increases expectations and support around programs. So those two night items, the number of teams, he's not set on 12. Guaranteed auto bids, not set on that. Yep. The reason this playoff proposal went from four to 12 and skipped eight is because the, the leagues, the compromise was let's give five or six automatic bids out there. And if you do five or six automatic bids on eight, you're down to just two at-large teams. Right now, there are four at-large bids. You go to two, it hurts the strongest conferences, and it hurts Notre Dame. Sankey's got the strongest conf- conference, and he would very much like to keep help Notre Dame stay away from the Big Ten. He could go to eight and have eight at-large bids and no automatic bids. That would help Notre Dame. It would also potentially choke out these other leagues without ever having to raid them because the chances of the Big 12 and Pac-12 specifically getting teams in a playoff without an automatic bid starts falling to not great. And when you're not in the playoff year after year, you lose relevancy. you You lose the perception of competitiveness with recruits. You lose money. You lose television ratings. You lose everything. This playoff can be used as a way to to decrease the value of other conferences while also increasing the SEC and the Big Ten. So yep. I thought there was an awful lot there in those three, four sentences. What do you think, yep. Pat? Yeah, no, that was uh... – one thing that seems clear with Sankey, well, you know, he he may come across as a bit dry and wonky at times. I think he's a pretty tough guy when it comes to these sort of situations. Like if he feels like you dealt with him badly or whatever, he ain't forgetting it. And he will he will <laughs> exert the influence that he has. And I think this is one of those indications. Like, okay, fine. This is what you wanted. We're going to give it to you, and it's going to be to our benefit, and I really don't care what it means for you guys. In any given year, especially with the addition of USC and the the additional money, you could easily have three, possibly four big uh, SEC teams and certainly two or maybe three big Big Ten teams in the top eight. Yep. Especially if they design the playoff to favor strength of schedule. Yes. And they start beating that drum. Strength of schedule, strength of schedule, strength of schedule, and you're sitting in the Big 12, and you're sitting, what's the strength of schedule? It's a perception. Right. That's not The the Pac-12 hasn't had a team in in five years. It's one of the reasons SC just bailed. Because the thing about Sankey, he's very, very, very smart, and he's very purposeful. They're still mad that the the plan they worked on in January got blown up. I mean, he's got to sit there and go, Pac-12, you haven't gotten in in five years, I offer you a plan where you'll get in every year. <laughs> and you said no. Yeah. Okay, just... now, now, wait, what, what do you want me to do now? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. And you just lost your marquee program, and I'm supposed mm. to care? Yeah. I'm supposed to give you a guaranteed spot now when you're weaker? They said, let's have a playoff that stretches coast to coast. They, and yeah. the coast to coast people said, no, thank you. Will there be a... Uh, a, 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 you know, everybody holding the hands and will there be a bit of saying we need to do what's good for the game? I hope so. But we're down at this point to hoping that that's the case. That yeah. the Big Ten and SEC do not act in the best interest of their own programs and in the most profitable manner for their own programs for the good of the game. And if right. that is what history tells us is what's going to happen, it doesn't happen that way. 